guys uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use this uh, parameterized and non parameterized manipulators in the C++ programming before you start uh, this uh, practical uh, please watch my lesson 3 video first in that video I have explained to you uh, several manipulators and what other principles for these manipulators okay so make sure you have uh, watched that video understand the uh, principle for this uh, how it works for this uh, manipulator first then only you come to this uh, practical okay so uh, let's look at these questions at the uh, right hand side I prepare a question that write a C++ program that obtain the following values from the user. Okay, uh, you want you are required to get the input from the uh, user uh, values in uh, integer values, floating point of floating numbers, and a string value. Okay, and here is the requirement: the integer numbers should be displayed as a decimal, hexa, and octal numbering uh, system. Let's justify with the field, set the width, which is 6. And a second requirement for this floating point number should be displayed as uh, positive or negative sign. 4 digits after the decimal point. Okay, 4 digits after the decimal point. And using decimal point, fixed decimal point and scientific notations. And the last requirement, string. The string should be displayed right justified in a field. Okay, the width of which is 25 and unused spaces will be filled with this star. Okay, I change that. Filled with this uh, slash a char. Okay, uh, understand the question first and what are the requirements. Once you have understand these questions, the requirements, proceed to the next step 2. Okay, step 2. So this is the step one. Okay, understand the question and requirements, and try to imagine what kind of output that you would like to get from these uh, questions. So here I pro I have provided you this uh, the desired output. Okay, you're asking the the user to key in uh, this value, floating value, and a string. Okay, and also you would like to display this output. Display this decimal uh, numbering system, hexa, and the octal number numbering system. Then we have this floating point, and you have to display this positive sign for this uh, floating point in uh, fixed notation and also scientific notations. And finally, you have a string. So once you have the uh, idea on how your output look like, step two, plan your works. You can use flowchart or pseudocodes. So in this case, I'm going to use pseudocodes. So, first thing first, get the input integer value. Okay, then get the input floating point value and third, get the input string. Okay, next step, you have to display this output. Okay, display this output. Next step, you have to display this. Okay, display integer in decimal hexa and octal using this uh, left set width and numbering system manipulators okay so next step will be this floating point okay so display the floating point in the fixed notation and scientific notation using the fixed set precisions so pause and scientific manipulators okay so if you don't know what is this uh, about this uh, set precision a uh, fixed so pause Please go back to my uh, video. I have explained to you uh, one by one what is this uh, manipulators. Okay. And uh, lastly, we have this string to display a string and write justified. Display a string right using a right set width and set view manipulators. Okay. Once you have come up with this uh, planning, now what is the first step? Writing a program, right? Okay. So you just go to this. Um, program create a new pro, uh, program okay then just follow the pseudo code that you have planned earlier and using this c++ uh, syntax okay so remember what is the first step 
get the you say get the input from the user right so see out enter and integer value okay okay see in number value one see out enter and floating point value okay then we have a c in value two then we get we have to get the third input which is a string right so enter string so uh, in this case we're not going to use this c in so we had to use this uh, get line uh, c in uh, your variable name that i will declare later so if you don't know what is this uh, get line so please refer to my uh, lesson two okay i have explained uh, during this uh, variable declaration so when you need to use this uh, uh, c in when you need to use this uh, get line okay so since we have these three uh, variables so you have to declare your variables here this uh, load value to a string uh, maybe str okay. so since you're using this string so you have to include um, a string header file Okay, so value once is defined, value two defines and get line this is the string. Okay. So put a semicolon. So once you have get this input done, next step is display. Okay, I would like to display this star. Okay, I would like to display this output first. Okay, so um, see out. Start to display this integer. Integers. So you have to use this uh, manipulator that I, I told you just now. Uh, left, set width, uh, decimal, and then the value. Value 1. So identifier set width is not defined. Okay, since you are going to use this uh, manipulator, so you have to include the header file. Include. IO manip okay so in order to use this manipulator you have to use a header file IO manip so okay so value one done okay so this will be your pseudocode uh, number five okay done then we will go to the next step step number six uh, display the 14 point Okay, display the 14 point so uh, see out floating a point okay create a new line endl okay so you would like to display in the uh, four decimal places in both fifth notation and scientific notations so you just put this command Okay, we have this uh, fixed notation equal to fixed and set precision. If you combine this fixed and set precision, it will provide a uh, four decim uh, four significant values uh, for floating point number. Okay, and we use this so post uh, manipulator to show the positive sign. Okay, for value two. 
okay so this fix and set precision uh, are used when you want to display a number of significant digits for a decimal number after a decimal point okay and you have another scientific notation just add this scientific manipulators set precision for okay set with terms suppose value 2 okay so check double check floating point yes so in order to display four decimal places okay you use this manipulator to display positive sign you so post in scientific notation you just use scientific manipulators so you have to use fixed set precision but since you already declared fix here so uh, you don't need to uh, declare another time here so one time is enough okay so you have set precision with so four decimal places okay set with so uh, this one you can remove also okay so done this is step number uh, six so next last line to display a string using a white manipulator set with 25 and set view uh, slash okay so this is the last command <laughs> we are going to display a string white justified using uh, this right manipulator set with 25 set view okay you, you are going to use you are going to fill up uh, this uh, spaces here with this slash okay so string done okay finally you have to close your exit your program return zero okay so done so now last step going to run your programs Okay, so here is your program. Enter an integer value, for instance, 56, uh, 14 point numbers, 14.69. Okay. Uh, some some problems here if let's say you would like to uh, get uh, get line here you have to add another command here see in but get okay so I will run again so here is your output so retype 56 uh, protein point number 14.65 so enter a string uh, Aaron Tan. Okay, I click press enter. So here is my output. So now compare this output with your uh, desired output here. Compare. We have this integer value output integer decimal fifty six, and then uh, decimal octo floating point. You have a policy size, scientific notations, we have a string, okay. So uh, match with your desired output. Okay, uh, so this in this video I have show you uh, a several manipulators, uh, uh, left satisfied, right, right satisfied. Uh, we have this set width and this the different numbering system and so on. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. So um, I will see you in the next uh, practical class. Okay, bye. So post string post.